Hey guys, what's up? It is Thursday, and I am currently driving down the street and going home. I just had to go to the mail post office place and pick up a package that I've been waiting for for like three weeks. Um, anyways, I figured that while I was driving home today from the post office that I'm also going to be doing some eye darting here. Sorry, random, but i uh, got to watch the road as well as the camera. But, um, yeah, basically, I felt like giving you another video blog of some of my reasons why I like being fat. One of the reasons is when, you know when you go to the bar and uh, you get carded right when you walk in the door? Well, my thing is, you know, I know how much I weigh, so i got to put that on my driver's license, you know? And a lot of people lie on their driver's licenses when they put their weight down for some reason or another. They feel like they have to put a lesser weight. I never do. I always put, you know, what I weigh at the time that I get my driver's license. Because I found out the hard way why they really need that exact weight on your driver's license. Um, if you get into a car accident where you're needing to go to the hospital, they are going to do basically uh, adhere medication to you as your weight on your driver's license says if you're like out of it. So let's say you are 280 pounds and you put down that you weigh, you know, 180 pounds. Now you and I both know that that's a big weight difference and normally you can tell by the look of somebody that they don't weigh 180 if they weigh 280, but sometimes you can't tell because of the distribution of the weight throughout the body. Um, when I first got my driver's license when I was 16, I was still a little self-conscious about my weight and being overweight. So I ended up putting on there that I weighed about, uh, I think it was like 290 or something like that. And really, I weighed about, I think it was 350 or so at the time. But I totaled my car, like, I think it was maybe six days after I got my driver's license, two days after I got the brand new car, and eight hours after it was insured. Um, I'm not even going the speed limit, I just realized. People are passing me. But, um, yeah, that's why videos and driving don't really mix sometimes. Unless somebody else is holding the camera, but in my case, I got to do it all myself. Um, <laughs> anyways. I totaled my car, I broke my femur, and I had to go to the hospital. Now, they started giving me medication as if I weighed less than 300 pounds. So I was in a lot of pain. They ended up having to, like, do the whale thing where they put you in a bag and then they lift you up to weigh you. Um, like they would weigh a whale, literally. Ha ha, funny. I thought so. Um, they had to weigh me because I couldn't stand because my femur was broken. It was kind of like you know, in Austin Powers when that guy breaks his leg and it just like swings out from under him. I totally had that situation going on. It was horrible and very painful. But they weren't giving me the right dose of medication because I lied on my driver's license about my weight. Now, nowadays, since of this experience, which was very traumatic to me, I have decided to never lie on my driver's license about my weight because I know now what the benefit of having my actual weight on my driver's license is. And I'm proud of myself. So when I go to the bar and, you know, I know I'm a huge girl. They know I'm a huge girl. They look at my driver's license. They check me out. They know where I live. They know my birthday. They're going to know me on a personal basis. So I feel like just by putting my actual weight on my driver's license, I'm making new friends every time I go into the bar because now I'm on a more personal level with the bouncer, which means that maybe someday I won't have to take cover. Anyways, that's today's lesson. Um, don't lie on your driver's license and be proud of your weight because you'll make more friends. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.